All right, guys, in this video, I want to talk to you a little bit more about that top navigation menu. And I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a bunch of different components to it. For example, not only the title and the buttons, but also how you can have a drop down menu. And however, um, let's say you want to collapse the screen or you're looking at it on a smaller screen device and you don't have room for all the buttons, then you could replace it with a hamburger menu and a bunch of cool stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. So I ripped out everything from the last tutorial. So we have a blank slate right here. And the first thing I'm going to do is before I even add any row, I'm going to add nav. And it takes a couple components. The class is top bar. And it also needs another keyword so it can work with JavaScript data. Top bar, I guess it's not going to pop up for me. And the role of this is going to be navigation. All right, so that's our starting point. Now, this entire navigation menu is kind of be broken up into two parts. The first one is just your website logo, and the second part are the buttons. Now, there's actually a lot involved in the buttons, and it includes you know the drop-down menu and all that. But we'll just group it into one main section called the buttons. So for the logo, I'm going to make an unordered list and I'm going to give this the class of title area. Now insert here, I'm just going to have an item that says the new Boston. And I'm also um, going to show you guys how to do something really cool with the hamburger icon. So first, before we get to that, I'm going to add an li and the class is just going to be name and I'm just going to stick my logo in here. So my logo is just going to be basic text, but if you want to include, you know, your little image of your company's logo, whatever you want to do, that's fine. So a href a in there and also let's just type the new Boston. Won't get too creative. All right. So there's my logo. All it is is the word the new Boston pretty boring but hey don't judge me alright so the next thing I want to do is this right underneath this list item right here I'm gonna add another list item and I'm gonna to say toggle top bar and menu icon so these are two separate classes and what this is gonna do is it's gonna say for smaller screen devices Whenever we don't have enough space to show all the buttons on our menu, then just create a hamburger icon, in other words, a drop down menu, and we'll stick them all in there instead. And we don't have to write this functionality ourselves, it's already built into foundation, which is pretty awesome. Now, one other weird little uh, tricky thing is that inside here we need to add a dead link and we just need to add our spans like before. So now it says, okay, when I don't have enough room, this is where I'm going to put that hamburger icon. So the user knows that it's a button and they can click it. Again, kind of weird, but you know, yell at foundation, their creators, not me. So now that we got all our basic functionality taken care of, let's go ahead and add the menu buttons. So not the hamburger icon, the actual buttons, such as like file, edit, view, uh, whatever you want on top of your menu. So section and the class is top bar section and let me break it up like this. All right. So first I'm going to make my right buttons and then I'm going to make my left buttons. So on my menu, I'm going to have some buttons on the left and I'm also going to have some buttons on the right and let me show you guys what I'm talking about. So the menu bar right here, here's your entire menu. And you see how you have these buttons on the left. And it's actually probably going to look a little bit closer to that. And you also have your buttons on the right. Well, you can actually break these up in two different sections. Or if you only want to have buttons on the left, you can do that as well. But this is how you do it this way. So for the unordered list, the ones on the right, you give it a class of right. Beautiful. Now, I'm actually going to copy this. Actually, you know what? It's going to be a pain. All right, so now let me just make some stupid uh, sample buttons. 
like profile and for this list item and uh, the link itself you have no styling just by default the only time you want to have styling is if instead of a regular button then you want to make it a drop down so we'll say that we're gonna have um, we'll say that make we'll make this right here that says Bucky and then it says my profile and log out on the right hand side so it'll say Bucky of course we would have to change that for the user's name and for the list item itself we need to add a class and we need to say has drop down that's just our way of town foundation hey this isn't just a normal um you know list item button it actually has a drop down menu inside it so of course we need to actually add that functionality and in order to do that inside your list item where you would typically just stick a single link instead you're gonna make that link and that's the default text that's gonna appear on it and inside you make another unordered list so it's like a menu within a menu so this is gonna be the drop down menu inside your button now for the class this is just drop down that says this is the area that pops up whenever the user clicks this button and then you can just add some items just like before so what was it like uh, I don't know we'll just say log out we'll just keep one make things really simple so now let's check this out so this is our regular button our regular list item and then we have a special list item that's a drop down and of course we only have one item in the drop down which is log out but if we wanted to add more then we could do that as well now also take note that it makes a little triangle on the right hand side and that's how whenever the user is looking at your web page they know that this is a regular button and whenever I hover over this that there's going to be more so I don't know I think it's a pretty cool little indicator but anyways now let's just go ahead and make our left buttons and this is going to be really boring because we're just going to make class of left and we'll just stick some normal buttons in here actually let me say this button one and button two beautiful so actually let me change this to something that would be a little bit more useful. I really don't like just calling things like placeholders. I hate the names foo and bar. You know how like all the examples use foo bar? I'm like, what is this? This is the dumbest thing I've ever seen. So that's why I never use those. All right, so we got our navigation menu broken up into two sections, the logo and the buttons. And we also took the button section and broke this up further so we have left buttons and right buttons. And check this out. Whenever we start shrinking this, and foundation is like hey you don't have room for all these buttons what it does is it creates a hamburger icon right here and whenever we click it all of our buttons are right inside here now if we ever have a drop down like this whenever we click it it brings you in to that drop down and then you can go back and forth back and forth toggle on toggle boom so a lot of different pieces and there you go that's the basic structure of how to make mom and also I probably should have mentioned this in like the first video any source code not only for this tutorial but for all my other tutorials I'm gonna be putting it on my github so if you guys are like alright I wanna add like a drop down menu but I'm too lazy to type all this just head over to my github and you know wherever you saw that template from the first video they're all gonna be in that same directory so just copy the pieces that you need paste in and you know like change uh, the buttons to say whatever you want but there you go and that way you don't have to type everything again and it's all there if you ever want to come back and grab it so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe see you guys in the next video